Well, hello everyone. We have another series review to do as the New York Rangers just won their series in overtime, 4-3, to three, ironically, in a best of seven series, of course. So winning the series 4-3, to three. we'll talk about these games real quick, then do kind of an overview of what happened, and then kind of like things were to go there. So, game one, Pittsburgh won 4-3 to three in triple overtime. The shots were much, much in favor of the Penguins as they ended up out shooting the Rangers 83 to 68. The Rangers were one for one on the man advantage, and Pittsburgh, I believe, is one for four. Notable, this was the longest game in Madison Square Garden history for playoffs, that is. And of course, uh, just in general, as Igor Shesterkin was the only reason the Rangers didn't lose this game by a way bigger score. You had the Casey to Smith injury, which meant Louis Domingue was going to come on in relief. He was great in relief, shut out the Rangers, and Malkin had the game winning goal. Game 2, 5-2 New York. They ended up out shooting the pins 41-40. And they were 1-4 for four on the power play. Pittsburgh 0-2. for two. Notable, uh, Igor was able to stop 39-41 shots. And uh, there were 5 different Rangers that scored in this game. New York was able to score 2 goals within a minute of each other. And went on to go from a 3-2 lead to commanding 5-2 lead there. So that was big. And uh, obviously, you even up the series, which was huge after getting out point. Game three, seven to four, Pittsburgh, and the shots were in favor of the Pens, 37 to 36. The Rangers were 0 for 3 on the power play. Pittsburgh 2 for 3. Notable, the Pens were able to chase out Shesterkin uh, out of the net in the first period. Built up a 4 to 1 lead. Heading into the second, they then proceeded to blow that lead as the Rangers were able to tie up the game with three second period goals. Luckily for Pittsburgh, Dalton Heinen was able to score an unassisted goal to give his team a 5 to 3 lead. And the Pens bagged two empty netters to take a 2 1 series lead. Moving on into game four. It was again. Pittsburgh, who won this game 7-2, outshot the Rangers 41-24. Rangers 0-1 on the power play. Pittsburgh 1-3. Notable. New York played terrible. Uh, Moneypuck.com does simulations, and they do it a thousand times to see what happened with the game and what the results would be. And this was the worst game in their history of tracking these games. As I believe it was something like 99 times, 8 of 100 simulations. It was Pittsburgh who would win the game. They won and took a commanding 3-1 series lead game five though it was the rangers who fought off this pittsburgh team and were able to stay alive they won five to three the rangers outshot the penguins 44 to 32 one for three on the main advantage for pittsburgh oh for oh for the rangers excuse me and then oh for three for pittsburgh and the pens took a two to nothing lead before new york was able to come back score three goals in the span of 162 seconds jake ginsel tied the game up but philip uh, Heedle goal was able to give the Rangers a lead in an empty netter, kept the Blue Shirts alive and with some momentum heading into game six. But this also was important because Sidney Crosby was hurt in this game, and that was pretty early on, I think, and wouldn't return to four game six. Game six. Um, very similar to game five. It felt like you were kind of in the twilight zone, five to three New York. Uh, shots favored New York. Power play, they were able to go two for three. Pittsburgh go for three. Uh, notable, though. Pittsburgh took a 2-0 lead. Rangers scored four or three unanswered goals. Pittsburgh tied it up again. And then the Rangers, of course, won the game thanks to a Chris Kreider game-winning goal and an empty netter they were able to get later on. And I think Mika Zibanejad scored his first two goals of the series and had his first two-goal performance of his postseason career. Game 7, which just ended now, of course. The Rangers took a 1-0 lead thanks to a Kreider goal. Uh, then Dalton Heinen was able to tie it up in the first. Then you had Ginsel that was able to score a goal in the second to give the Pens a 2-1 lead. And then you had Keandre Miller to tie up the series or tie up the game in the second before Evan Rodriguez scored a shorthanded goal to give his team a 3-2 lead. And that was in the second. Looked like Pittsburgh was going to win. And then with about five-ish minutes left, Mika Zibanejad had his third goal of the series, third in the past two games, to send this game in overtime. And who was it? Artemi Panarin, who won this series for the Rangers for New York. They are winning their first postseason in or postseason series since 2017. They will be moving on to play the New York or the Carolina Hurricanes, excuse me, and uh, we'll have to see how that goes as they will play a team that is not as banged up as Pittsburgh was and probably will test them early on and we'll have to see if New York is up for the challenge. As for Pittsburgh, they had a 3-1 series lead in Blewett. 
Normally, I think you would see a lot of memes. I still think you will, but I do think they were very banged up coming into this series. They obviously were banged up during this series. Obviously, Crosby came back for this game and Jari came back for this game, but they were not able to win it. Kind of frustrating though. Pittsburgh had multiple leads in this series, couldn't hold on, and now they are headed home, not winning around again for another year and they haven't won a postseason round since 2018 so we'll have to see where it goes what were your thoughts on this series let me know down below make sure to tell me if you're angry if you're happy i want to know all those things and your thoughts everybody please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new stay safe have a great night and you go off hockey all right goodbye brigadiers and brigadettes this is your captain signing off have a great night